So we got Boruto chapter 57 and wow so much information dropped in this chapter from the introduction of Ada, the 5 Kage summit, the pills that Boruto is going to have to take to slow down the Otsutsuki process and on whether if Naruto is truly ready to kill his own son. So much information dropped this chapter especially with that new baddie Ada, definitely one of the best waifus in Boruto so far. I already know the Boruto community is going crazy over her. A lot of people are simping over her. Boruto chapter 57, I enjoyed it, a lot of information dropped. So let's just get straight to it. Let's get straight to it. So I'm going to talk about the 5 Kage Summit first. I know there's a lot of stuff that happened. In this chapter, a lot of information were going back and forth from the 5 Kage Summit to Boros Secret Hideout. So I'm just going to talk about the 5 Kage Summit first. So we see the 5 Kage, they're having a Skype call. Instead of everyone meeting up at one disclosed location, everyone's just having a Skype call because this meeting is very urgent. Of course, in this 5 Kage Summit, Naruto wants to talk about Code and what happened with Ishiki and Boruto as well. And the first thing they do talk about is Code's motivations. Shikamaru does say that the Leaf Village knows what Code is trying to do. First, retaliating against those who killed Ichiki Otsutsuki, such as Naruto, Sasuke, and Amado who did betray the car organization. And his second goal, of course, is to cultivate a chakra fruit from the Ten Tails by feeding either Boruto or Kawaki. And of course, with this information, the five Kage are concerned about fighting the Ten Tails. Obviously, with the Ten Tails, it was such a big threat back in the Fourth Great Ninja War. However, the five Kage are also concerned about other things, such as with Darui. He is concerned about Amado. He even asked Ask Naruto, can you even trust this guy? Darui does say like, yo, I trust the Leaf Village. I trust everyone here. However, I kind of don't trust Amado. He recently betrayed the car organization. He might be a double spy. He might have an ulterior motive. And Naruto even says it himself. I don't even trust him 100%. However, he does give Amado the benefit of the doubt. Thanks to Amado pulling through during the fight against Ishiki. Even though Amado was not on the battlefield and we don't know if Amado can truly fight, he did give off vital information about the Otsuski lore, the Karma Seal, and the car organization organization that Amado did prove himself that he is very vital to the Leaf Village after betraying the Kara organization. And Gara does bring up another concern that he has. And thing is, Gara, despite having concern about the Ten Tails and Code, his biggest concern is Boruto himself. Of course, with the Five Kage, all of them do know that Boruto has the Karma Seal from Bomoshiki. And Gara's biggest concern of this meeting so far is about Boruto, of course. Of course, with Boruto, we know that he's 80% otsuki fight, and Momoshiki can take over Boruto's body anytime as long as Boruto runs out of chakra and this is a threat. Gara even says that Boruto can even become an Ishiki level threat and we saw just how strong Ishiki was. Ishiki was literally ragdolling Naruto and Sasuke. He forced Kuruma to use the Baryon mode which ultimately forced Kuruma's death. If Boruto ever gets to that point he is going to be a serious threat and that is Gara's biggest concern. It even got to the point where Gara even asked Naruto are you willing to take down your own son and Naruto does reply saying I'll do what needs to be done as Hokage and I've seen Seen a lot of controversy over this and to be honest with you i think naruto is in denial about saying this of course he's just saying this to the five kage because if he were just to say no i'm not going to take him down it does cause some concern from the other villages because momoshiki he is a humongous threat especially with naruto losing kuruma he is indefinitely nerfed we don't know how strong naruto is currently we don't know if he can still access six path sage mode and the thing is momoshiki is a threat and with naruto saying that he could take down boruto i definitely do think he is capping i definitely do think he is in denial because literally the next page he is doubting on whether he could actually do it. We do know that back in Boruto chapter 49 Sasuke did tell Boruto that yo as your sensei I am willing to take you down. That is something that Naruto can't do. Even Sasuke himself knows that Naruto wouldn't be able to take down his own son. We do know that Sasuke has the resolve however we did see in Boruto chapter 53 Sasuke using the Amaterasu and trying to take down Boruto when Momoshiki took over Boruto's body which obviously shows that Sasuke has the resolve to take down his own students and the thing is Sasuke 
even knows that Naruto probably wouldn't be able to take down his own son. There's been a lot of controversy about this and the thing is when he's talking to Amado, he's in denial and in fact, he does not want to believe that Boruto is going to lose his life soon. He even says, I'd rather keep on not believing it until that moment happens. So he's in denial on that Boruto is going to die from the Osutsukification from the Karma Seal. And even Amado does say, it's not that you don't want to believe, rather you don't want to give up. Naruto is a person who does not want to give up on people. Of course, with Naruto, he is at a crossroads right now. He is very conflicted on what to do. Of course, Boruto is his son. He does not want to kill his own goddamn son. That is his family. However, we do know that in the Boruto anime and in the manga, it has been stated multiple times by many characters that Naruto treats the village as his family. Everyone in the village, he looks at them as his family. So of course with Boruto, that is his biological son. He wants to protect his family, his real family, and the village as well. And he's at a crossroads on what to do because Boruto, of course, with Momoshiki being at 80% Otsukification, there is not much time until Momoshiki can take over Boruto's body. And if that ever comes to fruition, Momoshiki is going to rampage through the village. To be honest with you, it is going to be very difficult to take out Momoshiki. Being at 100%, he is a very big threat, especially with Naruto losing Kuruma and Sasuke losing his Rinnegan. There's going to be a point where Naruto is going to make a decision on whether to kill his own son. And Naruto, despite telling the five Kage that he is willing to take down his own son as Hokage, secretly with Amado, he is doubting himself. He's in denial. He does not want to believe that he is going to kill his own son one day and he doesn't want to give up on his own son. He wants his son to live because of course that is his family. And Amado does introduce some pills that will slow down the karma otsuskification on Boruto's body. These pills, however, they do have a side effect on that Boruto is going to lose his vision and eventually one day he may go blind and in the worst case scenario of taking these pills, he could potentially die. And of course with these pills, they were intended to take down Jigen because Amado, he did everything he could to take down Jigen for making these cyborgs, creating Kashin Koji and these pills as well. So of course Amado, he knows a lot and what's crazy is that even though Naruto said he doesn't trust Amado 100%, Amado has been saving Konoha's ass so many times the last couple of Boruto chapters. This man has come through clutch so many times that to be honest with you, Naruto is trusting Amado more and more. And, and the thing is, I gotta be honest with you, I still don't trust Amado. I really think that he's just trying to gain Naruto's trust. So one day when Naruto fully 100% trusts him, he's gonna stab him in the back. Amado is definitely a character to be a double agent. Thing is, I do think he has an ulterior motive that he has something behind his back. He is ready to do something once he gains the trust of everyone. Next, we talk about Ada and yo, Ada bad as hell. I'm not gonna cap. But um, the thing is with Ada, she is absolutely broken. So of course, she has the allure ability. She can captivate men or women on her side, essentially turning them into slaves for them. We saw this with Code and Bug. They instantly fell in love with Ada from using her allure ability. And this is why Boro could not tell Jigen about Ada. Boro became captive of Ada's ability, which explains why Boro did not report to Jigen, which explains why Boro did not report to Jigen about Ada. Not only that, she has some insane clairvoyant abilities. She has the ability to see everything and hear everything as well. So she does give a good example. She says, let's say there are some security cameras in every nook of the world and you can access them whenever you wanted. So basically she can access these quote unquote security cameras whenever she wants. She can see every little thing in the world. However, a lot of the stuff that she sees, she doesn't really care about. There have been some things that does pique her interest, such as Ishiki dying. She does call Lave and says pretty pathetic on how he went out, which I find hilarious because it definitely does set the mood on how Ada is as a character. And of course with Ada, she does know that code came to her to release the limiters however ada does say that there are two things that need to be lifted that only can be used by amado which of course is the iris recognition from amado's eyes and a voice print command code to release the limiters and the thing is they would need amado to do it himself they can't use a transformation jutsu because amado's eyes are made out of scientific tech and they don't know the word either so they would have to get amado to cooperate and the thing is in the last boruto chapter amado did say that if he were ever to be captured by code he would have to confess and we find out that Ada does hate Amado. Amado did steal the ability for Ada to have ordinary love. Of course with her allure ability she can have both men and women to become captivated to her so she does not know if these people genuinely like her or if it's just a fraud if it's just a facade in general and the thing is she wants pure love she wants true love and that is why she mentions Kawaki and Boruto since both of them are 80% Otsutsuki we learn that there are only two types of people that are not affected by Ada's allure ability and that is the Otsutsuki's 
enemies themselves and blood relatives, which explains why Jigen wasn't caught in the allure ability by Ada since he has Ishiki Otsutsuki living inside of his body, and with Boruto and Kawaki, they wouldn't be affected either since they are 80% Otsutsuki from the Kama Seal process. And this definitely sets up Ada as a villain because Boruto and Kawaki, they could potentially fight her. In fact, almost no one can fight Ada thanks to her allure ability. Almost everyone would get caught by her ability, so the only people that could probably fight Ada is Boruto and Kawaki thanks to being 80% otsutsuki fied from the karma process. And this is how the chapter ends with both Code and Ada taking a drink and all I gotta say is I'm really interested on what's to come for the future of the Boruto manga. They're definitely setting up Ada well, I really like her as a character. Not only is she waifu as hell, I really like her personality, I really like how she just laughed at Ishiki, I love her abilities, I think she's a really good character so far from the one chapter that we've seen her. So I'm definitely interested on what's to come for the future of the Boruto manga. So let me know what you think about this chapter in the comment section below. How do you feel about Ada as a character? And let me know, who do you think is a better waifu, Ada or Delta? Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. I know a lot of people aren't a big fan of the androids like me. However, I would say just give it some time. Let the story build up to give your full opinion on it. I'll let you know how I feel about these cyborgs in the next couple of chapters of the Boruto manga. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. So if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell as well, and have a good day. Peace. I feel like with 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 each ass facing a different direction, it creates a certain equilibrium. Talk to him. What's the formula for what's going on right now? <laughs> come on, Bilo. Come on, Bilo. I'm like Albert Einstein when it comes to this shit. Talk to him. So obviously, one, two, three. Jigawatt to the third power. Because three. One, two, three, each has two booty cheeks. So, uh -huh. three, five, seven, nine. So, E equals three, five, seven, nine, one, two, three.